Hey, what's up? Welcome to another plan with me. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to be decorating my classic monthly pages that I use as a memory a day. I'm a little far behind. I mean, it's July 6th, but um, I never even did June in case you keep up with that. Um, but I'm going to use these Calibri Charms um, Hummingbird Hollow stickers. And I will put a link in the description for you to take you to the website. It is an affiliate link, so I would appreciate it if you used my link. Um, I did use these stickers in um, a big weekly already, so that's why all my big hummingbirds are gone. Um, I also have a code for 10% off. It's Stephanie10. And if it's your first purchase on the website, you can use the code GRAND30 to get 30% off of your first purchase. So let's go ahead. And I want to use these numbers, but I think I want to trim them so they just kind of stick out the side. I might have to white out numbers. Let's see. Um, I still can't find my ruler. So let's try to use this to trim these down. And I'll just do this first row and look at the one and if I don't like it, then I won't do it anymore. I can only cut off like so much of these because some of the bigger numbers, you know, take up a lot of room. You don't have any sort of like cutting mat underneath. So you probably should. One of the projects I have stuff for is to refinish this desk. This desk is um, from my childhood and it was never stained or anything and I think I'm going to keep it a natural wood color because I think that'd be good for my background for my videos. Let's just try this. Okay. That's good. But of course, I put it on the wrong day. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know why. I was like, oh, there's a two there. I should cover it up. No, I'm hitting my camera. Okay, so let's try this again. And I'm going to speed this up because if I don't, it's going to be super boring. covering up the cute little numbers, but all right, I need to use some more of this. Um, okay, because we have something the 15th or the 17th, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it with this. Okay. 
right. Save this in case I want to use it later. Okay, and then what I was thinking about doing is putting a bunch of stuff in the sidebar. Um, let's figure out my things here. Oh, I have these too. Okay, let's go ahead and do these. The paint splotchy days of the week. Coordinating with the rest of the sticker kit. Um, these kits, when they're all coordinated, makes decorating really easy. You don't have to think about it too much because everything goes. Jeez, nice. And I have plenty of these to use again and again. Those aside because I won't use those again. And use this quote. It says, It is never too late to be what you might have been. Okay, so let's put this. This right here. But I do want to light out behind it. These are matte. You can get them in clear or paper, um, but the clear is kind of a matte, so you don't have that shininess that you do with um, some of the Happy Planner stickers, which is why I usually kind of squish them down. Now if I'm going to use any more of those. Um, I do kind of want to use some of this up here. That's weird. I want to cut it. I want to cut it right here. Adds a little decoration there. By the way, I love these too. I just, I really like the grid for some reason. It just really appeals to me, so I end up using it a lot. Okay, so let's use some of these. I feel like this is a good 4th of July sticker. Of course there's a lot of blue there already because of the numbers. And I'm just going to use some of these throughout. And I have 
two of a color. I'm gonna kinda put them on opposite sides of the page. That way they balance each other. You know, I'll find stuff to put in these as the weeks go on. It's kind of big if I want it here. Oh, how about right there since it's stuck there? It's kind of covering up the 11th, but I think it's okay. I mean, in a perfect world, I'd be able to see, you know, everything and put on the page, but. I don't live in a perfect world. Ooh, this. That's cool, right? Let's do that. And then I obviously have more squares on this side, so I'll probably put more of them over here. I'm not putting them next to the same color numbers on purpose, I swear. in this way. Okay, this obviously makes it a little difficult right here. Done with that sheet. There's the last thing is always the hardest for some reason. Because it's the last thing I can decide on, you know. It kind of just needs to be here. Maybe we'll just completely hide. The 14th, since we can't really see it anyway. Okay, and then I have some of these. So let's put this, will be for the 31st probably. It'll make it a little easier to write something, and then I have some room right there on the 24th. Make this a whole cluster. I don't know. I feel like I have to use that because then I'm done with the sheet. I mean, I could put it here because. I'm not going to be putting anything else there, probably. I don't like where it ended up. Put another quote in that sticker. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. 
is going to be really pretty. Okay. This honestly will probably be mostly just decoration because there's not much room to write in there. So come over here a little bit. A lot of green. This would be perfect for covering up the light out there. I don't think I can put a quote there because then I'm adding some more flowers. I do want to use at least one more of those though. I just don't know where that's going to be. Daughter has the TV a little loud, so if you can hear it, I'm sorry. Be careful about what colors I put together so that the colors are nice and balanced and all over the page. Just some more white out to cover up. probably could have waited till the end to put the number stickers because I didn't need to put all of the numbers on there obviously because I just covered some of them up but I mean it's not like I'm gonna use them in a another spread when I have you know just like a few numbers left over so it is what it is This is pretty busy, but the smile a day spreads, not smile a day, I don't call them that, <laughs> my memory a day. Um, they do end up really full and really kind of busy. So that's okay with me. Let's decorate the side. Keep it over here. Okay, let's put a little hummingbird it's visiting those flowers. And I already know I'm going to put this little chunk of flowers covering that up. 
the purple on this page goes really well too. Okay, I don't really want to cut off any of the birds, so. Kind of stagger them a little bit, I think. Let's go ahead and put you up there. Okay, maybe some swatches in here. I got these in clear. Okay. Okay. Use this somewhere else. Okay, let's add some flowers. Sorry about the door opening and closing. I really like it when other people do this and they like fill up a sidebar, but I don't always love it when I do it. <laughs> I feel like the spread got really busy really quickly. Um, so I'm not really sure I'm in love with it. Like I love the stickers and the colors. I'm just not sure I executed this well. But in true Alistair and Plans action, in true Hollister and Plans style. We'll just keep going, make an even busier spread. Put the flower cluster there. Somewhere to cut off there. Okay. 
me. I think I just need a couple more things, maybe. And then I am done. So I have a few more little flowers and quotes. I'm going to leave this because I don't want to make it too crazy. I am going to finish whiting out this line just because I think it looks better. That looks a lot better. All right. Um, don't forget to use my code if you are interested in purchasing the sticker kit. Um, this is the second spread I've done using these stickers. So I, I shoved a lot of stickers on these pages and um, I had plenty more for another big spread. So um, definitely worth it. They go a long way. Um, just don't forget to use that affiliate link for me. It doesn't cost you anything. And don't forget Grand 30 for 30% 30 off if it's your first purchase or Stephanie 10 for 10% 10 off if you've already made a purchase on the new website. And thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.